In this Illustrator tutorial, we're going to be working with the Symbols tool and the spray can. But I think that you should use it uh, minimally. Uh, you shouldn't create all of your artwork work using the symbols. So that look kind of silly. So let's start with a um, our main symbol here. Open up Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator, and we want a approximately 500 by 500 pixel document here. Let's place a photo, and I chose this, put it lower. And we want to turn that into a template. And make a new layer to be able to paint on top of that. And there we go. Now we know enough about pen tool to be able to do this with the pen tool. So as always we'll start out doing our main section. Probably want to just do an outline. So we get it down, down to what we want.
Okay. After you've finished it, make sure that you get rid of the um, stroke by select all and then making the stroke none. I would also suggest that you um, keep it as simple as possible and When, once you have it, more or less like you like it, see what it looks like. By getting rid of the layers. Make sure you clean it up. And um, simplify is always a good idea when you have just a, you're, we're making a logo, and that will give you a lot of um, options here. Now I would suggest you play around with it until you find one that you like. Path, simplify. And once you get one that you're satisfied with, And you have your your background. Now let's take that and select all. I need to make it a little bit smaller. Hold down shift to constrain it. And always hopefully it'll look a little better when it's smaller. Let's put that in the middle. And now let's just forget about that for a little while. And we'll start on the uh, next little session that we're going to be doing. Let's do a new layer. Now we're going to be working on a logo. And for this, here's the fun part. Let's get the uh, symbol sprayer tool. And you'll find that within the symbols palette, find here the symbol palette. And within that, you click here in the corner and you open the symbol library and you have a whole bunch of things. You can choose food and Within food, there's even sushi, all kinds of things. But what I want is nature. You choose among these which one you want. And if you click on that, it'll add it. Double click on that, it just adds it to the uh, palette. And you have it there already. Um, within that, of course, you can specify all kinds of stuff. The diameter, we'll leave it about 68. Intensity, how many you want, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So let's do that. Let's just do a little arc here. So we have our 
trees and that's a lot easier than than drawing the trees now I chose to make uh, mine a circle and with this circle let's hold down uh, option shift and that will constrain proportions make it a nice round circle for the circle I would like to uh, choose the same color as the trees so that's fairly easy to do click on the trees and for the actual um, oops the stroke let's make a nice thick stroke Still a little large, so let's let's make it a little smaller. We'll put the trees in front. And Play with that to get it the way you like it. Now we're going to do a path for our typing. So let's do that path. Hold down shift and that'll keep it nice and round. Is our path for our typing. Remember, we, we don't want to have uh, anything showing there. Let's just get our type tool until it changes and make up something. And remember, we can play with the um, font. with the size and also play with the color and let's see what we have here so let's put everything back See what we come up with. We were trees in the back.
and easier to move our circle up. And play with it until we have exactly what we want. There we go. I could play with this and play with it, but more or less this is what I want. I want you to draw an animal or some other object, um, simplify it, and then make, make a logo using the symbol library. And that's it. So let's save it, as always. And then we'll open it up. And I think you know by now that this would probably be best saved in, um, opened in Photoshop and saved as a GIF. So let's do that. A gift because you're dealing with solid colors and you can take away colors and there are no gradients. So if we saved it as a JPEG, you would have noise. You'd have all kinds of fragments on it. So let's go open. It's about the right size, actually. And on this one, I would like to keep it uh, transparent. So make sure that transparency is selected. And let's save it in Dotson. This is Illustrator 5. And there you go, Illustrator Tutorial 5.